Hey guys, so today I, I wanted to talk to you about a few things that I've slowly gathered through the last couple of weeks. Um, one thing that I'm really, really excited about, I got face and body foundation from MAC and I got a couple different ones, um, mostly for my kit. So, um, I'm just going to move over here. The lighting's better. And you can see my Buddha right there. Um, so I got it in C1, I don't know if you can see that, I got it in C5, and I got it in N9, so they're varying shades of dark, um, this is the N9, I got these for my kit, and what I noticed about them is they're very, very sheer, but they're awesome for mixing um, any kind of foundation or moisturizer into them as well they're really great for obviously your body if you want just like a nice even kind of tone all over your body um, if you're going out they're kind of like those like fake pantyhose foundations but they're more sheer and they dry down and they don't budge and they feel great on your skin if you don't um, really like foundation but you just kind of want to you know smooth it out usually tinted moisturizer is the only option and I absolutely love this stuff so go check it out you get this really huge bottle um, this is their concealer so it gives you an idea of how huge this bottle is as compared to a paint pot hopefully that gives you guys some sort of reference. Um, the other thing that I got, I'll do all my MAC stuff first, um, was Artifact Paint Pot. It's a cranberry kind of color. I'm really excited about this one. There's some cranberry and red looks that I really want to do, so if you have any requests on those, let me know. Um, I love paint pots for bases. I do find I typically put um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance underneath or something like that just because I like them to kind of be a little more creamy and a little bit more blended. I don't know. Um, or maybe it's just my own mind thing. The other thing I got is Max um, Mineral Eyeshadow. It's called Mineral. It's not a mineral eyeshadow. Um, and it was from the Ungaro collection got black under my nails because I just smashed an eyeshadow but um and this is an older eyeshadow but I found it at a Mac store it's a gorgeous like gray dirt brown and I'm really excited about it because I have a lot of really red browns and um this one isn't so I'm pretty pumped about that what else did I get oh yes I got the bare minerals bare vitamins prime time now um do I like this it's okay. It's great for the Bare Minerals shadows. It's great for loose shadows. For actual, like, MAC shadows or 88 palette shadows or something like that, not my favorite. And I, and I, it's a texture thing. Um, and I just don't like the way that it goes onto my eye. It almost feels sticky. And if you put, like, a loose powder or a Bare Minerals powder, it kind of mattifies it. But with the other ones, it seems to mix with it a little bit. And so it's not really my favorite. But it's got a really cool applicator. It's like a twist-up dealie. And then you would just put it um, on your eye like that and then blend it out. So it makes it really easy. If you think about how um, the Urban Decay paint... or primer potion feels. It's like that, only less greasy, if that makes sense. I know that the Urban Decay isn't technically greasy, but it feels kind of wet and slidey and greasy because it's silicone -y. So this stuff here um, feels less greasy than that, and it kind of sticks when you put it on your eye. I don't know how else to describe it. I don't know if anyone else has tried it and they want to put their two cents in comments. Um, not my favorite. Mm, thinking about taking it back. Um, then I found these... They're mini shade sticks. Now, I bought these um, a long time ago, and then I gave them away, and then I found them. Actually, somebody else went to the States and found them at a CCO for me. So I got um, See Me shade stick, which is like a really bright kind of peacock blue color. So pretty. I got... Topographic, which I'm sure a lot of people have seen. It's probably a popular one. Which is a very nice kind of neutrally brown color. I'm going to have to do some looks. I'm not a huge shade stick fan, but um, I'm going to try and get back into them because they're, they're coming out with some new ones. And then this one is called Gracious Me. And it's like a pinky kind of color. I think there was five and they must have taken the other ones because they liked them. But it was really nice of her to give me those. And they're minis. 
if you didn't notice. They're super cute. How cute are those? Um, I also got the Coastal Scents Gel Liner. I got this one in green. I don't know if it's turquoise or green or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, I haven't really tried these yet. I have heard some scary things about Coastal Scents. And not scary in the way that... Um, their, you know, products are bad, whatever. I'm not going to get into that, but there's just been some customer service things, things like that. I had a pretty good experience. Um, do the research before you go and buy something from them. I have their 88 palette too, and as I say, I had a good experience from them. So, it took a while to get here, but I live in Canada, so that didn't surprise me. So, the other thing I went and got was I went to the Clinique counter and I got, oh, that's a nice reflection, woo, um, this. It's called Creme Brulee, and I actually did a video, a spring trend video on it, with it. Um, and it's got three colors in it that kind of all work together. A really dark brown, a medium tone gold, and then a lighter gold. Um, I really like Clinique eyeshadows because they're for that everyday person. They're for people who like color, but they don't want to go really, really bright and really dark. And that's what I like about them, because you can really schlep these guys on, and it's no big deal. Um, you don't get a whole ton of color from it. And I went to the drugstore. I got this. It's called Barely There from NYX. It sort of reminds me of Nylon from MAC. I'll just show you here. It's a highlighter eyeshadow, so it kind of gives you just a little bit of highlight. Underneath the brow, you could even put some in here. There we go. So it's just a highlighter eyeshadow. I like NYX. Again, there's tons of reviews on NYX, so I'm not going to do any, but um, cool. Now this is what I'm mostly excited about. I got this brush. It is um, from Holly North. My friend got it for me from Vancouver. And it's an angle brush, but it's soft. Really, really soft. What I like about that in contrast to Max, because Max is quite hard, there's product on there because I just used it. Um, but it's quite stiff and hard. This one is really soft and fluffy and it's going to be really, really good for smoky eyes um, or smoky eye liner. Sorry. So it's going to be really good for those smudgy kind of eyeliner -y looks. So I'm going to do a couple with that. If you guys can find a really soft eyeliner brush, I'd say go for it because it's going to make doing your smoky eyes that much easier. Currently I'm using this one here, which is that Caroline brush I've talked about a couple times. And also this one here, um, which is Max. I can't remember numbers. 228. So any one of these kind of brushes... Are really good for smoky eyeliner and also to kind of pack on color I used this one today in this tutorial and you can watch it and I added music to it for the first time if YouTube lets me I don't know how to do the music thing some people get it in there I think you just got to credit it to the people who um, saying it I hope that's it because that's what I did anyway um have a great day guys if you have any other you know review questions or anything like that I got a lot of crap so chances are I'll have it um anyhow I'll talk to you guys later, and thank you for subscribing to the people that subscribe. That means a lot to me. Um, it kind of keeps me going to know that there's actually people who are excited to watch my videos. It's kind of a really cool feeling. Anyway, have a good one. I think I've said that like four separate times. It's like trying to hang out with someone on the phone. You're like, yeah, okay, anyway, have a good day. Yeah, so have a good one. Um, I'm trying to hang up on you guys, but <laughs> anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. Bye.